Hey guys, what's up? So, I wanted to make a quick video tutorial on overclocking your monitor's refresh rate. Now, this can void your monitor's warranty. Um, it is only available on NVIDIA 700 series or Titan graphics cards and beyond, I believe. Um, and is also uh, done at your own risk. So, it could... Technically, it could fry the panel, but it won't. Um, and... It, it bear in mind what connector you're using. If you're using HDMI, even if the panel can go above that, the HDMI connection cannot. So take that in mind. But if you're if you're using DisplayPort, it won't be the connector holding it back. This HDMI is a bottleneck, um, and so is Single Link DVI. So anyway, I'm going to get started. I'm going to right click on the desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. What this will do is open up all the advanced settings of your graphics card and the drivers. So, like I said, this is only 700 series cards and Titan graphics cards at the moment. It may come to other versions and I'm not 100% sure if it hasn't already, so try it. Um, then go under Display to change resolution. Once you click this, you want to scroll down and you should be selected on 1080p at the moment. So go to Customize. In Customize, select Enable Resolutions Not Exposed by the Display because um, this will bring up resolutions that aren't normal, which is what you want. Then select Create Custom Resolution and put in your horizontal and vertical pixels uh, of your display at the moment. So this is a 1920 by 1080 23 inch display. So we're going to put in 1920 by 1080. Leave color depth uh, and leave it on progressively. Everything the same apart from refresh rate. Now if it starts at 60, if you're at 60 now, go up to 61. Once you fat like put in 61, so we're at 61, select like test. 61 works. So I'm not going to save it because I know higher than 61 works. So we're going up to, say, 65. Test. 65 works, which is which is brilliant, so we can go higher. So I'm going to try 67, and if we select test on 67, which I know for a fact doesn't work, it will say input not supported. It, it, it can't go to 67 hertz. So 66 hertz is my personal sweet spot, so I have 66 hertz. You want to click save, and here it is. Then just select it in the custom resolution settings, so it will say 1080 uh, 1920 by 1080 progressive at 66 hertz. You just select and apply, click yes, and boom, you are now running at 66 hertz. Now, games should recognize this. Um, also, things like uh, EVGA Precision you can now use to limit your FPS to 66 instead of using VSync. This is a much, much more intelligent way than VSync as well. So, select 66 FPS and enable on a frame rate target. And boom, you now have a 66 FPS monitor um, and you get that tiny bit of performance. What this actually tangibly gives you, not really sure. But here you go, it's free, it works, and it's easy. So I hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helped you out, and feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed it.